There we go. YouTube it up. So, fate of the world. So, yes, people recommended that I install a, uh, a patch, a fan patch, an unofficial patch, which changes a few things. Uh, it does affect the balance of the game. Some things, uh, some, like, really strong cards have been nerfed. Um, but also there's a couple of quality of life improvements, like um, all the, the little, like, headquarters and offices that you have to build first mm -hmm. are all get auto-built on the second turn in the game. Okay. So basically when you would normally get them. So that's a little bit more convenient. Mm, okay. And the cards have more specific text explaining what's going on. And news items as well. So, here's what we're going to do. Since we don't have to build an office... Diamante! Thank you for subscribing. Diamante. I like that name. It's actually uh, hovering over some stuff. We're going to move it down to... It's so hard somewhere down there. because there's, there's so many different screens. I know. So I'm going to start North America, ERP, Russia, Japan, Oceania... Um, probably China, and that's all we're going to recruit for now, because there's actually not that much for us to do immediately in some of the other locations, because we're more concerned with stabilizing some of the security and things, and those are all things that need offices, is, is what I've, like, looked at, right? Because okay. most of the cards you have to play, mm -hmm. you need these offices yeah. set up, and this will be auto-built on the second turn oh, now. That's interesting. It, yeah, it's, it's an interesting change. Yeah. So, now the question is more, like, what cards are available that we can start working on right away. I like the uh, business and household carbon regulations. It takes about 30 years to deploy, but it dramatically yeah. reduces mm -hmm. energy consumption. Which is important. Mm -hmm. However, during that time, it also lowers your industry and commerce uh, performance. But doing it early before that becomes a massive worldwide problem is good. <laughs> it is good, I think. Plus, it also will encourage some support in this region right now. It's got the bonus, the yeah. plus heart, which is good because I've noticed like keeping that as high as possible is important. Also, I think I might go ahead and start working on the coal-free industry right away. Because the coal... I like that plan. <laughs> it's good. Coal is one of the first things you run out of. And yeah. I should really have my king hat on now. Oh. Coal is one of the first things you run out of. <clears throat> and um, it's also very polluty. Polluty is bad. Very polluty. So we're going to start like on that. Polluty. No, polluty is bad. And the so, Ian Somerhalder Foundation is all about cleaning up the environment. There you go. <laughs> uh, in Europe, well, I do want them to bid for the GU headquarters. It might be a little early for that. I think I'm going to wait. Um, because we're going to have to spend a lot of money unlocking extra agents. So we'll do the same thing. Uh, business and household carbon regs. We'll also do the um, the industrial ones at some point. But right now there's not bonus heart for that. Mm -hmm. And we're already going to be hitting the industry with the uh, business and household regulations. Because they get a penalty to that as oh, well. Right. And uh, not to mention the coal transition might hurt the industry a little. Probably a little bit. So we're going to you know take it... Take it chill. Slowly. <laughs> um, same thing here in uh, Russia, probably. Yeah, I think so. <clears throat> I'll deploy as many of these as possible. Now, yeah, I was going to say, I started an agent here in Japan. There's not going to be some of the options, but we can do the coal-free industry thing, which is going to be very... Or, sorry, China, which is going to be very big in China. And then in Japan, we should be able to do some of it as well. Yeah. We'll double up on those. <clears throat> there was a really cute comment and now i can't find it <laughs> i can't remember i don't know who said it but somebody was like show them how to social responsibility <laughs> <laughs> i thought it was really cute so i'm sorry whoever you said wh whoever said that that's awesome <laughs> we're at 44 bucks left over which is really awkward because mm -hmm. that's not enough to get an agent i think well i may just have to lose it unless there's something more expensive i could do somewhere it's too early to start the vegetarian revolution because yeah. um, people are not being green enough. Yeah, yeah. Although we might be able to start in China, now that I think about it. You think? Yeah. Yeah, although, oh, we don't yeah, have extra card the there. Balanced is the mm -hmm. one that matters, right? Yeah. yeah, China starts balanced. I think maybe, okay, in Oceania, instead of starting with the business and household carbon regulations, I will get them started on protecting the land, soil, and forest, which is a little more expensive and basically eats up our money a little bit more effectively. Yeah. And some of these things take longer to implement or, or make a, a bigger difference down the line. So mm -hmm. it's like you don't always start them right away because they're not a problem right away. But if you start them early, then they prevent problems later. That's right. So. Temperatures going up. Arctic methane is being reported, which is not good. We've got advanced drilling techniques in Europe, which is handy. Although Europe doesn't need it quite as much. What we're going to want to do is get that shipped out to the Middle East so they can get more oil out of the ground. Right. Listen, it's only temporary. Temporarily, we need that. So now I want agents no, everywhere because now we've actually got stuff we can do everywhere. So we're going to recruit all our agents. We're going to go to the Middle East. We're going to get at least a couple of cards because, one, they're having a little bit of uh, security problems. So we're going to give them some security assistance. Yeah, they like it when you do that. Two, we're going to expand oil production. 
and three, we're going to acquire the advanced drilling techniques so we can get more of it out of the ground. Right. Um, and what I like, if you mouse over it, it tells you what it does now. So you get, uh, you can access deep gas deposits, 10% more oil production, 5% more discovered oil, and 200% more geothermal power expansion potential. So when you start doing renewable energy, geothermal, oh. it's like you get okay. down to where it's hot in the ground. Right, right, right. Wait, but yeah, but that requires like... What, fracking and stuff? Like that deep No, no, no. Fra it's deep drilling, but it's not fracking. Fracking is a combination of deep drilling and then putting incredibly high pressure water in there to crack the ground. Right. Um, so we're not fracking. Okay. I mean, no, people do this in like all, you don't even have to go mm -hmm. that far down. You go down enough so that there's a temperature difference between the surface of the earth and the ground, yeah, yeah, which yeah. is not really that deep. Okay. And then you use that to like heat your home, generate okay. power, do all kinds of things. It's really awesome. Okay. And it's totally passive. It doesn't require that you take anything out at all so it's quite good okay that, that that's important now the other thing i'm not going to do is start research projects right away because they're quite pricey they're they're good hey we're over a thousand yep. <laughs> hey sorry random little like side moment here <laughs> i'll read i'll read some more names out real soon i'm very excited you guys are awesome thank you um so one of the things i want to make sure to do is to keep our support high now thanks to the expanded like information about different events we get a lot more information like Pollution. There's 10% more sickness this turn because fuel use toxicity density <laughs> is between this many and this many. This many and this many. Um, and so minor drought is increasing fire risk. It's hurting water extraction and increasing the chance of wildfire and erosion by plus one. So you yeah, know what to start dealing with. Yeah. You're like, okay, more more drought and, and wildfire, yes. so I'm going to yeah. deploy this. One, it makes them happier and more supportive, but yeah. it also tells you what you worry about, like, more a little bit more specifically. Yeah, that's awesome. I should probably get this patch. Uh, it's, I think it's very, very handy. Um, <laughs> so, probably do another one. I might do a one round of Tobin taxing in Europe, but again, I want to keep things as high as possible. Checking the news in North America. Some protests. And right now, that's all. Which is pretty good. Now, I do have a card available, so I should do something just to make sure that things are still groovy. Groovy. <laughs> I love the way you say that. <laughs> I very soon want to start committing to renewables in North America, but really, I, I would like to prefer... It'd be nice until we it would, if we waited until we got the uh, photovoltaic cells and the advanced turbines, both of which dramatically increase the your sort of renewable adoption. The photo what now? Concentrated photovoltaic cells. Better solar panels, ah, basically. thank you. English. And it's not that far away. <laughs> um, who's the leader in energy tech? Is it Japan? It is Japan. So we might want to start researching that here. Especially the fourth generation nuclear is also very, very strong. In fact, I might do that. I know I said I was going to hold off on research, but I think Japan is going to start energy research, and maybe that's all we'll do. Oh, I'm out of money. See, there's a problem. <clears throat> So, one round of Tobin tax. Oh, we might have to do a little bit more than that. I definitely don't want to keep it around very long. We're going to start the energy research program here. And then we're mostly going to have to do security stuff in unstable areas. Uh, ooh, we don't have enough money for that either. Europe. Uh, you're not going to do the storm flood coast defense quite yet. Sorry, we need a little bit more Tobin tax. Probably just one round of it, though. So we'll do that. Stability is good there. India could probably use a little bit more stability, but really what they need yes. is a water management program because they, they have, <laughs> they do, they have very high water stress, which yeah. hurts their agriculture, which yes. hurts their GDP and all kinds of nasty stuff. And I really, I know I, I harped on this last time we played it, but I really think we need to get the whole like reforestation thing going there because again, I noticed that, you know, they're having an air problem and that's, mm -hmm. at least in my experience, it's been one of the things that can really help with the air problem. Uh, quality. That's yeah. <laughs> yeah, I agree. The air stuff. The air stuff. Mm. Um, a little while ago, someone asked how you knew so much about fracking. Have you guys not realized yet? Quill knows something about everything. <laughs> well, it's also, you know, there's it's in the news a lot. I read. I read things. He reads a lot. He knows everything. <laughs> All right. Latin America has got a card available. What can I do for them? Right now, they've got nothing to whine about. We could just increase their GDI. That's always good. We could start the coal-free industry. Actually, maybe we'll just start protecting the land, soil, and forests here. In Latin America? Yeah, I think that'll be a good use. They already have the water protection, the, dr the drought protection there? They don't, but oh, currently okay. they have no no oh, not yet. immediate okay. concerns about that. They, I find they usually do at some point. But. Um, 
They, I, everyone will at some point. Yeah, I guess that's true. For sure. Um, oh, we can start the uh, business and household carbon regs in Oceania. And oh, we technically have a couple of bucks left over. What can we do in South Asia? Maybe a little, a little defensive stuff seems like a good idea. Okay. Good use of our money. Well done. Yay. Okay. <laughs> I'm so sorry to you and to the people watching that I'm not like... It's so hard. It, there's so many people in chat. There's like over 800 people talking a lot in chat, and I don't want to be ignoring you guys, and I'm really conflicted. I want to be playing the game because, you know, that's fun, but I also want to be talking to these guys, and it's so hard. I, I like that you're here for the chat part of it. <laughs> um, Japan just developed smart grids, and for a long time, this is the other thing that the patch is great for. It tells you what these things do. Because you're like, okay, what's the bonus of smart grids? Well, if we go to, say, to Europe, to ERP, and we to mouse ERP. over, acquire smart grids, Ever, all sectors will use 5% less energy, mm -hmm. um, except residential will use 5% more. I think which means they actually break even. Oh. Uh, but also, all sec oh no, no. So farming, commerce, industry use 5% less energy. Residential use a little bit more, but that's okay. Yeah. And all sectors will get 5% more GDP. Smart grids makes places richer, which makes them yeah. happier. Yeah, smart grids are good. Like these guys are going to be whining about the uh, austerity tax, the Tobin tax, which I'm going to get rid of here, because uh, it's very bad, very bad. We're losing some stability in things. They've got the sickness thing going on. Now, smart grids. They will. Okay, Europe is already going to get smart grids in two and a half years. So I'm just going to leave it be. I'm not going to spend any money to get it there. What about Russia? They're 40 years away from smart grids, so I'm definitely going to pick that up. And actually, this should probably get the advanced drilling techniques because they have a lot of natural gas. No, maybe I won't. Um, like India here, for example. We're going to get them smart grids. Boom. Improve India's GDP. Which is a really big deal. Mm -hmm. Give them a little more security assistance. Mm -hmm. Again, I'm mostly going to be hands-off with some of these areas. Just like keep them from going completely bonkers. Smart grids, Bonkers. actually, rather than prioritizing smart grids in Africa, if they don't need security assistance, I'm going to get them the water management program. Yeah, that seems like a good call. Security assistance here as well. MechDave Tech. <laughs> That's cute. And now I want to play like Mech Warrior game. Mech Warrior Four on the PC was a fantastically fun game to play. Uh, Middle East, we're going to do the water management program as well. And South Asia is great. South Asia basically looks after itself. You, Yay. You put in like... It's nice to have somebody you can rely on. Yeah. <laughs> At the start of the game, they have a little bit of instabi instability, yeah. and then they sort of just fix themselves, and you never have to worry about them wow, ever nice. again. Yeah, I don't remember having much of a problem with, with South Asia in like any game. More drought chance. Yeah, no, they're, they're totally chill. They're the most relaxed people in the world. <laughs> they need a bit of drought protection here in Japan. Well, and I mean, I'm also going to do a stormy coast. South Asia, that would encompass places like... Bali and stuff, right? I mean... Yeah, I think so. So, yeah. And Korea, they're too busy playing video games. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's all. Uh, what's the water stress like in Europe? It's not non-existent, so we'll, we'll work on that. Um, so I got 221 bucks left over. Where do I want extra cards? Is the question. Probably North America. They're a little concerned. There we go. They're going to be pretty important to, like, keep happy for a long time. Oceania is content. Japan is concerned. But I'm working with them. Do they have any water stress? They do. I love how he says it'll be important to keep one person happy, like one area happy <clears throat> for a long time. It's like, no, no. You're, you're getting this wrong. It's important to keep everybody happy all the time. Some people can get a little cranky for a little while. I know, but you have to at least be striving to keep everybody happy, in my opinion. <laughs> Well, right now, they're pretty chill. They're a lot more chill than in most games. <laughs> India's a little cranky pants. Stability's a bit low cranky there. Um, India has, has some struggles. They I have mean, water stress, crowding, smog, poverty. poverty. Yeah. So, all right. Less water stress, good. Um, the other thing we're going to do, maybe some emergency housing relief. Even though that's like a temporary patch. It doesn't really help things. Yeah, I know. Um, with the water thing, um, doesn't one of the other water things help long term with that problem though? Uh, no, I, I think there was one. No, 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 I don't think so. Or actually, I thought there was a couple things that helped with water you long term. Know, India's got serious health concerns in this game. Life expectancy is much lower than everywhere else. Uh, maybe a bit of a medical program. 
And uh, you know what? We'll put in a little bit of emergency housing relief. Sometimes you, yeah. Sometimes the the band aid stuff is needed. Mm hmm. I'm gonna go and do a bid for Geo headquarters in Europe. Okay. They're content. They're still consumerist. It might. It's very soon. It's gonna be time to start turning them green. Maybe not quite yet. We're gonna do protect land and soil. Get that started. It takes a long time to do, and it's very very nice. Yeah. Um, I don't remember what the smart grid status is. We probably. Hmm. Yeah. The British British stereotype is saying you can make some of the people happy all the time and all the people happy some of the time, but not all the people all the time. I know that, but that doesn't mean I don't strive to make all of the people happy all of the time. <laughs> You're going to get advanced drilling techniques in the Middle East? No, I'm in Northern Africa. Oh, crap. Oops. I misclicked somewhere. Oops. Um, that could be a problem. <laughs> smart grids is fine. I don't think they need the advanced drilling techniques. They need a water management program is what they need. 100%. And we'll do an enhanced one in Southern Africa, which is not as bad off. Yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, actually, they have no water stress at all. I did not realize oh, that. That well, would be yeah. a waste, and I did not mean to put an extra agent in there. I'm clicking too fast. <laughs> doing too many he, things. He gets a little excited. <laughs> um, do some educational enrollment then, which will help in the long run. And we'll protect the land, soil, and all that over here. Middle East. Okay, this is where I want to be. Enhanced water infrastructure, because you know that they have water stress. For sure. Probably. And Maybe desert area and all. You can probably fund a little bit more law enforcement here. Even though they're relatively stable. Russia needs a little bit of help there. And how are they doing? They don't have any water stress, so they don't have anything to worry about. I think what I'm gonna do oh I have no money. I was gonna buy some tech for Russia, but that's not gonna happen. So what can we afford in North America that might make them a little happier? What can we afford? <clears throat> um, you know what we might actually we could start the eco-awareness campaign oh we, ooh, we should cancel the Tobin tax I didn't realize it was still running oh god is there <laughs> anywhere else it's still running Japan no Oceania no okay damn so now I'm in negative money actually which is really awkward you know what we're not going to bid for the GEO headquarters quite yet we're going to wait a little bit longer um but I will start the eco-awareness campaign in North America. Hugo Rune is saying the, the other reason I like brainwashing is because green-minded people tend to be less violent. That's a thing. We, you know, we make all the, the countries green. Mm -hmm. Maybe they'll be less likely to, you know, burst out in riots and things. Well, they'll certainly <laughs> hurt, hate issues. me less. Yeah, there you go. So Japan developed fourth generation nuclear, which is really good. Um, now, I do prefer renewables. Yes. But... In a few places, like Japan doesn't actually have a lot of renewable potential. If we go and click here, right, we can okay. see they have, other than fusion potential, which that, yeah, that comes yeah, way later, yeah. they don't really have very good renewable. They just don't have a lot of land to like cover uh, yeah, in solar panels, yeah. right, is the problem. So Japan is actually an excellent candidate to commit to pure nuclear power. Because right, they can develop it and export it to other people, mm -hmm. right, or something? Um, I don't think, I don't no. know if they export power back and forth, okay. so but just mostly they'll use less coal nuclear. and, yeah. and all that. Nuclear is still better than coal. Yeah. Yeah. So, and uh, nothing bad with nuclear power has ever happened in Japan oh, either. Good. Okay. So, <clears throat> yeah. Anyway, so we're going to start on that. Um, we we're could... giving you facts, guys. Totally. True facts. Yep. They have some, so much here. They have some water <laughs> stress as well, so we'll enhance their water thingy as well. Oh, yeah. A couple people have asked, uh, which mission did we take? I don't remember. Um, this is the fuel crisis one. Fuel crisis, right. Yeah, okay. I think, yeah. If we go to the main page, I don't know if we'll tell... Yeah, fuel crisis. Nev09, are we doing sub-multiplayers today? You were talking about still trying to do something. We're going to do something um, either, depending on energy levels, we'll do that at the end of this, or we might bump the sub-multiplayer to tomorrow. Oh. Which will be kind of awkward because I also have to fit in the EU4 multiplayer stuff. Uh, we're going to see. I'm going to try. Tomorrow being my actual birthday. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'll probably do it in the mornings. I know. <laughs> when you are asleep. Yeah. I'm not a morning uh, person. <laughs> all right. So. Doom, 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 doom. They're content, which is nice. No emergencies popping up yet, although we will want to give them more love. Uh, Northern Africa deforestation is bad. General strikes. They got their smart grids, though. Which should help some. They're stable, which is good. They need more water infrastructure, I'm sure. What other problems were they facing? Deforestation. Do we start then on protect the land, soil, and forest here? 
in Northern Africa? Yeah. They're having deforestation problems? Or you're saying that's one of the things that that prevents? Um, well, they are having deforestation. Oh, okay, Annual really forest visit. changes. Yeah. Northern Africa is losing the most forest out of anyone ever. Wow. Oh, except oh. South Asia, apparently. Right, yeah. That's a pretty big deal in South Asia. Wow. So I think we'll try to reverse that. that seems like a good plan. And... <laughs> Doesn't Quill hate trees? Yeah, trees are stupid. Only in things like Tropico. <laughs> and maybe we'll have to move to a coal-free industry. It might be too early here, though. They've got, like, they've got a lot of stuff to still develop. You know what they need? More transportation efficiency. It'll make a big difference. Or education and enrollment. We'll help That's them out with that. Too. Yeah. Raise their GDI. So we don't need that in Southern Africa. They're on top of that, apparently. Yeah, they're at the higher education yeah. bit. Um, I think they're... Medical welfare is always a good thing if we can afford to do it, but... Wait, oh, well, they have, medical. They have Sickness a lot of money. Hmm. I mean, that's probably mostly a factor of pollution, honestly, though. I love how he's hesitating to put in health care for people, guys. <laughs> you catching that? <laughs> health care is overrated. <laughs> yeah, all right. We'll give him some health care. We're doing a charity thing today, right? Exactly. You're, 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 you're kind of missing that part, I think. <laughs> All right, we need some security uh, assistance in India. They've got their medical welfare program. I think their housing crisis has resolved itself. Um, lots of pollution, nationalism. They've got poverty. They're angry. They're outraged. Yeah. Well, I don't blame them. Um, but their water stress should be a lot lower than it used to be. It's still 33%, despite the fact that we've gone, like, max water stress reduction. <laughs> Um, there are, I think there are supposed to be other things that help with the water problem. Like they're not, they're not necessarily called water things, but I yeah. don't remember what they are. Um, there are different, um, different like ways. farming techniques yeah, and things like yeah. that, which can help. Certainly. Uh, Japan is somewhat concerned. We're going to keep doing these little, uh, flood and whatever defenses, which will keep them a little bit happier as well. Make them feel safer. Middle East is feeling awesome, which is great. We're going to give them smart grids, improve their economy. This is seeming like it's going really well so far, yeah. which is making me nervous. Oh, we're screwed. <laughs> we just don't know it yet. It would be so amazing, though, if today, of all days, we could actually win this game. It would be really nice. We actually show that, you know, renewable energy and, and sustainable living and, and socialist, you know help everybody policies can actually like make a difference in the world yeah that would be nice <laughs> so we're 13 years away from concentrated photovoltaic cells which is good uh we really need to get advanced turbines and especially aerosols do have to kick in but i think it's a little early to like make a beeline for it um i think i'm going to start working on committing to renewables in north america though at this point yay like oops that's not what i want <laughs> nice that you can cancel it, though. I don't think I realized you could do that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, um, Firestone, I think, gave away something. I think maybe a copy has vanished or something. The chat's been moving so fast. Oh, cool. But to Nel Neltharim, I think is the name of the person who won a copy of Vanish. That's awesome. That is excellent. I love it when the, all these people lately have been, like, giving games to, like, each other. and Everyone's gotten so, like, friendly and helpful and kind. It's nice. <laughs> it is nice. <laughs> All right, it's 2050. Temperature's still on the rise. Arctic methane is being released. That's not good. People are not super thrilled with us in India. They don't really love us anywhere, really, not but we're working on it. it. <laughs> yeah, well, actually, India sort of is. <laughs> we need to help get their their pollution down and their... Oh, they're materialist, which is not great. Yeah. Not stable. Yeah, they're not doing well. Mostly, we need, like, more, like, just short-term benefits for them, really. Water Experience. stress, yeah. Joblessness. We can do some job Smog sharing. is always a big deal there. And more storms. Well. We need all these things. Yeah. In India. <laughs> need all the things. Whereas the Middle East, we've totally fixed the Middle East situation. It's, like, so easy to do. 
fixed the Middle East situation? We've totally fixed the Middle East. All right, Japan is concerned, but not too bad. We are going to lose. This is a patched version of Fate of the World. I don't remember what the patch is called, though. Uh, I don't know. Unofficial patch 0 0.5 or something oh, like okay. that. <laughs> I'll, I'll make sure to put a link when this goes up on YouTube or something, at least. There you go. Yeah, because yeah, it's really cool. Latin America has no love whatsoever from us. Let's get started on that. They are outraged. They might kick us out. I never know how to say your name. Low six of Forevsky. I don't know. Uh, apparently, he's saying Ascension might be a charming lady, but she's a freaking hippie on the inside. And the outside. Oh, I'm yeah. There's there's no hiding this. I am a total hippie in every way possible. Mm -hmm. And I don't know how that's a but. I can be a charming hippie, he, can't I? You said but. <laughs> My husband is 12. <laughs> uh, oh, let's convert to fourth generation nuclear and start the... Ooh, not the eco-awareness, because we're out of money. We should plan a coup to make Quill the leader of the world. Have you seen how that would work we out? You should make me the leader of the world, people. Don't you people like me? <laughs> okay, second generation biofuels is very good. Um, oh, and the aerosols is going to be handy. Um, because Ugh, the thing is, oh man, there's so much emissions coming out of China. Well, the biofuels is actually really good, in a sense, because it allows you to replace oil with like like oil products derived from plants. Right. Okay. Um, the problem is, first generation biofuels suck. You need to burn so much food to turn to create the fuel yeah, that it assists starvation. No, I know. Yeah, biofuels are yeah tricky. And if you're talking about things that reduce water stress, getting the biofuels is good because. You get just better, like, crop production or whatever. Anyway, oh, having this okay. happen here in uh, India, I think, is very good. It's I not going to make any, like, in, in the short term, I mean. I know long term it'll help, but in the short term it's not going to do anything with, like, increasing the air pollution or anything? I don't think so. Okay. Now, I been, haven't been giving a whole lot of love to China, and I really got to get started on that. Luckily, they're pretty happy as is, but they are polluting, like, crazy people. So we need to get them um, working on stuffs. Kubrick. Kubrickian. Kubrickian. I love that name. Um, Crazy Germans is behind every great man as a greater hippie. <laughs> That's pretty good. I'm sorry. I love that. I kind of almost want that on a t-shirt. <laughs> All right. We need... Oh, man. China needs to stop polluting so much. Um, it, I don't think it's too early to start committing to renewables. But maybe we have to. We could start declining coal power. But they don't really yes. have an alternative yet. Oh. Is the problem. Can right. we commit to renewables there? We might, we might have to. They have a lot of potential in terms of solar. Some, yeah. And some in wind. And some wind. Because right now they get all their power from coal. That's bad. So it, it's a combination. We need to mix down the coal, but then mix up something else at the same time. Yeah. Uh, we might actually... They don't have fourth generation nuclear, do they? We need to buy the carbon capture and storage first and then nuclear. Because we could have them start on nuclear and... Um, renewables sort of kind of at the same time okay oh apparently that name I couldn't pronounce because of the numbers and I get confused was uh, Lobachevsky a Russian mathematician oh cool I know a lot of mathematicians like but not that, that one yeah <laughs> Um, -da -da -dum, -da -da -dum. Oh, I hate this. I'm missing so much of the chat, you guys, and it's driving me crazy. As a lot of you know, I'm addicted to keeping up with the chat, and it's just, duh, twitch, twitch. <laughs> yeah, it is twitch. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> All right, we got to start turning more people green as well. Very important. Ooh, not stable. It takes a long time. That's one of the things the patch changes. It's actually harder to convince people to switch to being green. Oh, why? It's not easy being green. I suppose. It's easy once you make the switch. Yeah, but convincing people that global warming is real? I know, it's hard. Or that meat consumption and green practices will actually make a difference. I think we're going to lose again. Would you just stop? You're so negative. Photovoltaic <laughs> cells. Okay, excellent. Which Everybody actually means... Think Win, 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 really hard. Wind, wind, <laughs> wind, power. That too, yes. All right, I'm going to kill the energy research program because the next thing is like ages away. It's fusion. We don't need to worry about fusion quite yet. Not immediately, yeah. Very good. Uh, I think what I will do is research some robotics in Japan, though. 
Okay. So that we can get our improved turbines, which are good for, they so generate good. power more efficiently yes. from gas, oil, and coal, yeah. but also they help with wind power yeah. and hydropower. Oh, okay. Very cool. All these turbines and stuff. So lots of different types of sort of renewable, sustainable energies. Exactly. Uh, it might be time to start deploying sulfate aerosols. In fact, I think it is. I'm going to get that kick in. Um, <laughs> Joris 104 says, Essentia, EU elections are in May. I'm voting for you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> can you, can you, I don't know, sponsor me to become an EU citizen first? Because I'm okay with that, but mm -hmm. I'm on board. So, how quickly can we get the photovoltaic cells in Europe? Not quickly enough, so we're going to go ahead and pick that up ASAP. So we can commit to renewables there. Same thing in North America. Yeah, that would be too long, so we're going to grab that right away. Um, Russia. <laughs> Lobachevsky is saying happy International Women's Day to Sencha and those 3.5 women in the chat. Wait, 3.5 women in the chat? <laughs> Yeah, it's like, you know, standard household with, like, 2.4 kids. <laughs> you just chop them apart. It's a little creepy. So we're celebrating International Women's Day by chopping women apart? That's not friendly. No, not really. I don't like that plan. Yeah. Not, not a good one. <laughs> uh, how do we get... Okay, fourth generation nuclear is going to kick in automatically. What do we do about Russia? Russia is pissy. I mean, come on. Solving the Russian problem should not be this difficult, guys. Oh, my goodness. Don't. Don't. You know what you're going to start in the chat <laughs> yeah, again? Another, yeah. <laughs> another holy war? This is, Okay. This is my birthday stream. It's for charity. Yes. It's for an international charity of, you know, we all, we're all in this together. Let's help the world. So let's not start any, like, crazy wars in chat. Okay, guys? <laughs> medical program. Make them feel a little bit happier. Middle East is unstable again. God, what's wrong with these people? All right. There are issues. We need to balance oh, shoot. those issues. Um, oh, shoot. India. Oh, shoot. India. That's a great statement right there. <laughs> uh, we might not do the GEO headquarters here. You know what? I'm going to cancel that. Yeah, India is pissy. So we're going to do the Tobin taxes in Europe again, which okay. combined with canceling the GEO headquarters gives us a bunch of money, which we can use to somehow fix India. Fix. Medical. Um, relocation assistance. What does that mean? I keep missing what so it's, it says. It's, okay, so it gets people away from bad places where things are bad, right? So it actually uh, reduces the severity of drought, storms, floods, because okay. we move people out of there. It reduces out of, like, high risk areas. Exactly. Okay. Reduces coastal uh, vulnerability. It also increases migration, including to other countries, which has pros and cons. Well, yeah, because you're just like uprooting people all the time. That's not Again, that seems like a Band-Aid sort of card not a real oh yeah. solve problem card probably I yes i feel like you rely a lot on band-aids you got listen india's about to like riot and kick me out i'm just saying maybe that's why <laughs> i'm also going to subsidize biochar which i meant to do earlier oh okay yeah. um because what it does is increases the agriculture. money you make in agriculture which and reduces good. the water use as well which is and good. gas use yeah. and emissions and emissions which is huge in india so mm -hmm. yeah Agriculture will use a little bit more energy, but we'll just have to deal with that. And they could also use a little bit of policing because um, they're unstable. We don't actually have enough money for that. <laughs> we could ferry. Oh, she said this a few minutes ago. I'm so behind. But earth, wind, water, oh, God. fire, heart. But your powers combined, I am clearly 18. <laughs> God, heart was the stupid Love one. It. Hey. Who would want to be heart? Hey. Eh? Some of us might. Yeah. <laughs> education. I'll be the power of education. <laughs> Zyphus is saying, if I divorce Quill, I can marry him and become Belgian. <laughs> I guess that's what I was saying. I wanted to be oh, a right. citizen. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we're going to try to like, greenify a few more people here. Greenify. Engage greenification. Oh, I want that on a t-shirt, too. I need to be writing these down. <laughs> Go create them on Zazzle. Come on. Okay, future temperature is dropping a little bit because of the aerosols in Japan. Basically, everyone's just grabbing hairspray and going psh, into the air. Oh, yeah, that'll help. Totally. Political instability. Super tensile materials are really good. Another way of just, like, improving everyone's money. Everyone's a little happier when everyone is rich. Well, yeah, because they're all greedy, selfish jerks. That's one way of looking at it. <laughs> 
Oh, we don't have <laughs> smart grids yet. But no, if we make everybody rich, then there's more equality if they're all rich, and then they can pay for more services for their people, and I'm okay with that. Mm-hmm. North America's got it all already. Apparently. Okay. The world would be a kinder place with the center running it. Oh, Ava said that. Thank you, Mommy. <laughs> More aerosols. Okay, Geo headquarters. Engage. Um, they're still happy, so I guess maybe I'll keep the Tobin tax around. Oh, they're balanced as well, so that's going to help. Kind of like keep it as long, around as long as you can, usually. <laughs> I do need a little bit of extra funding. And Europe is pretty safe. Whoops, I just tabbed out. It's pretty safe in terms of, like, kicking me out or not. Um, North America is also pleased right now. Wow, nice. But uh, they're materialist. I'm not going to go and Tobin tax them quite yet. Well, actually, I suppose we really could. Now nah, they don't have that much support. And the problem is when your hearts get too low, then you'll get events that yeah, will lower other things. That are bad, yeah. I want to see a center play Tropico. I think I would be terrible at Tropico be because I just awesome. don't think the way that you're sort of supposed to think in order to be successful at that game. <laughs> so next thing we want to do is get um, quantum computing because that is the next big financial breakthrough. So Japan is going to research that for us. Infotech. Meanwhile, they're pretty happy. Oceania, pretty happy as well. We're going to get them probably the super tensile materials. How far away are they from that? 20 years. So yes, we'll get that. And check it out. All sectors get 2% more growth. Uh, okay. Index growth and 10% more max growth, whatever that means. Plus more tidal power expansion potential, which would be good when we start doing uh, renewables. Which actually Oceania can probably get started on with the photovoltaic cells as well. We're going to invest some money you know, here and here. I grew up watching Blossom, right? With her best friend, Six, who talks like a mile a minute. Yes. I mean, that's when I learned to talk really, really fast. I can yes. talk so fast that people have no idea what I'm saying sometimes. Uh-huh. And yet, somehow, because of this whole live streaming thing uh -huh. and YouTube thing, you're, you're starting to talk so fast, I don't have a clue what you're saying. <laughs> I'm not used to that. Normally, I can keep up with really fast talkers. <laughs> that's funny. But you just said something, and I was like, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> See, look, we've done nothing in South Asia. They're content. Everything is fine in South Asia. Well, how, how's the deforestation going? Because they might oh, be content, but... It's probably not they good. They need to have trees. They're content the trees. because they have room for all their golf courses. Right. Uh-huh. Gonna find a little bit more law enforcement in India. They're still pretty pissy. But I don't think there's anything I can do about that. <laughs> I can. I suppose I could toy up and tax North America. I think that would be bad. Japan is actually extra happy. You know what? Japan is extra happy? Yeah, so That's we're, awesome. we're going to counter that with a little bit of Tobin taxing. Yeah, counter it. That's funny. Like, we don't want people to be happy. India. What's up with that? Cancer, water stress, joblessness. Well, what we're going to do, we're going to start protecting the land, soil, and forest in India. Which is one of those long-term things. Like, it's so important, but it's protecting also... Protecting forest in India? Yeah. Yes, I've been saying that for a week now. But it's also, <laughs> like, really hard. I know. But it's one of the reasons that you want to start it right away. Yeah. Because it takes so long and it, it's hard to implement. But I don't have infinity money. World headlines. Gas production peaks, okay, but we have no shortage yet. We've Six million people have died because of the climate issues, and five million people have been displaced from their homes. Damn. We got oh, our headquarters. We, got headquarters. And... <gasps> we lost oh, an antelope. no, and that, see, that is always the sign for me. When you start losing animals to extinction... The game is not going well. And that's why you have to donate to the charity that we're raising money for today, yes. for Essentia's birthday. Yes, because they help all kinds of things. They help protect the environment, they help stray animals, they help all kinds of stuff. Look at the emissions in China. It's still ridiculous. That's I, bad. I, I gotta start working on it soon. I think I'm gonna start doing carbon capture and sequestering there, even though it's not something I normally prioritize. What's the water stress like in China? Ooh, very high, actually. Get that Doing going. Essentia for King and Queen of Denmark. I like that. Can we do that? Are they the ones who go to all the sporting events and look all, like, cool and relaxed all the time? Probably. I like them. And I like Denmark. <laughs> um... Oh, every time I almost catch up to chat, I get distracted by something in the game, and then I'm just as far back as I was before. <laughs> Where's the efficiency? What else can we do with these guys? Damn. Yeah. <laughs> Demon when I guess when I was saying I would be bad at playing Tropico, Demonac was saying, Presidente Essentia, your Swiss bank account balance is dangerously low. <laughs> yes, it would be. <laughs> You're not playing the game wrong. <laughs> I guess we could get the photovoltaic cells and then start also committing to... Okay, let's do that. 
Get rid of the equal awareness campaign, because now China's communal, so that's pretty good. And we'll commit to renewals. So we're committing to nuclear and renewables at the same time. Okay. Replanting their forests. Yay, finally. Forests. They've been doing that for a little bit. Oh, okay, good. Um, the problem is still that they're burning too much coal. And I guess, okay, I could cancel the business and household carbon regulations in exchange for declining their coal power. Like, really enforce the switch as aggressively as possible. As much as we can without them getting falling apart and being cranky. Meanwhile, South, e South Asia is going to acquire aerosol geoengineering. Basically, everyone is going to start shooting aerosols into the air. It's important! Uh, water stress here. It's really important. The speeding savant said, I'm, I'm entirely unsurprised that you grew up watching Blossom Essentia. <laughs> Whoa! What? Wh why? I, wh what do you mean? Because <laughs> I like hats and I talk really fast and I'm into cute teen harp songs. What? <laughs> I'm political. And, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Alright, we're still trying to work on India here. My god, they're miserable. What can I do to make them happier? Give them a higher education program. We're improving their, their medicine, their transportation. We're helping them to move if they need to. Ugh. Okay, I like this this idea too. Um, lower, lower case, lower case row? I can't say that. Quill and Sensha should declare independence and make their house into a micronation where they can be king and queen. <gasps> That'd be awesome. You know, like, like, um, Danny, the, the king of lovely. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be cool. We should totally do that. We could have all these international citizens. What are we going to do here? They got all their water stuff? Yes. Find the antelope again. Yeah, I wish. That poor Sega antelope. Yeah, we're going to need more aerosols. We need aerosols everywhere. Mm -mm. 26 years. Aww. Okay, Europe. You got that. Essentia is essential for the environment. It's true. <laughs> you guys are sweet.